Hi, everyone. It's Wendy Irwin. Um, I am actually coming to you from my bedroom today because everyone's home. It is uh, Martin Luther King Day, and my kids are home. My husband decided to work from home, so I have no office. My daughter is spread out in my studio, which is my space. I do my, my live videos. So I'm here because it's quiet and there's no one listening. So welcome. I hope you guys are having a happy Monday. Um, things that I've been thinking a lot about lately are things of, that really just really are my jam, things that I love. And a lot of times people kind of toss around this word passion a lot. And passion is kind of like love. If it's tossed around a lot, people tend to take it less seriously, if that makes sense. And I feel like it's almost turned into a cliche. And I hate that because I think passion is a wonderful thing. But <clears throat> one of the things that I have found is when people talk about their passion, it tends to be um, an intangible for them. And therefore, it puts distance between them. And so what I'd like to do today is bring that passion closer and more connected to you and give it another name. So what I like to call it really is power. A lot of times I ask my clients, you know, when do you feel most powerful? And I have found that when people feel powerful, it's because they're connected to their passion and their strengths and they're infusing that um, into what they do. So if you're going to take passion and you consider it a power, even a superpower maybe, what does that look like, right? Um, sometimes people say, you know, I feel really powerful when I'm educating people or I feel really powerful when I'm helping people. Um, all of these things. And sometimes I like to dig a little deeper. Okay, so when you're helping people, and I think I've used this example before, what exactly are you doing? And for me, my superpower really is helping people figure out their superpower because I love seeing in others what they don't see in themselves. So that's one. So once you've tapped into this thing, your passion, your power, it's, it can't work in a vacuum. Because if you have these amazing gifts that you've been given by God, universe, source, whatever, they can't go unseen. Because it's kind of like if a tree falls in the forest and there's no wind there to hear, does it, does it make noise? And it's kind of like that. You, you can't use your power and your passion in a vacuum. So if you really want to tap into this passion and you really want to tap into this creative genius and this strength and this source of your power, you have to be seen and you have to share it. So a lot of times that's really, that's really the boogie boo, the boogie band, the boogie bear for people is that it's all great and fine to have a passion and superpower, but if I have to show it to somebody, well crap, that's, that's where the fear steps in. And I actually figured out this is what I'm dealing with right now with myself. Um, I have a lot of big dreams this year and uh, I want to really be able to take my superpower to the next level. But in order to do that, it means I have to be on display with it. And that's scary. So I guess my question to you guys is what makes you feel powerful? And what can you do to be seen? with your power and how can you share it because really your passion and your power gets its most energy and its most impact when you're sharing it with others. So um, I'm just going to put that out there today because I would love to hear you got your guys two cents about that. Um, I actually intend to put it all on display uh, here in the next couple of months. I'm looking for a venue so I can tap into what makes people feel powerful with their intuition, with sales, with making money, all of those fun things. Um, because when I think when you, we put that perfect storm of intuition and superpower and passion and sharing and being seen, that's your moneymaker. And if you can figure out what that is, then there are absolutely no limits to how far you can go. So I just wanted to say happy Monday and talk a little bit about passion and power. And I would love to hear what you have to say. Thanks. Bye.